What's up? So today I will answer the question, which is the best camera for you? The Sony FX3 or the Sony A7S III? Let's go! Alright guys, so I haven't asked this question a lot. Which camera is better for me? The FX3 or the A7S III? Which one should I buy? And the answer is this one. The FX3 is a redesigned version of the A7S III, so both cameras have a lot of similarities. The FX3 is the first Sony camera that lands between the Sony Cinema cameras and the Alpha family. But the FX3 focuses more on film than photos. So here are six ways these two cameras differ from each other. Number one, the FX3 has a smaller body. The A7S III follows the traditional body type of the Alpha family, which comes from the still image background, meaning that the A7S III has an electronic viewfinder and the FX3 doesn't. Also, it is good to mention that the FX3, even though it's a smaller body, is a more thicker body than the A7S III. Number two, the FX3 comes with a handle that has an XLR port, which is standard for pro audio recording. And that's something that the A7S III does not have. Even though you can add a case to the A7S III, this camera is built for a more handheld still image style of shooting. Number three, the FX3 has a tally lamp. The tally lamp allows both the camera guy and the subject to notice when the camera is recording. This is very helpful for both the filmmaker and the subject so they can know exactly when the camera is rolling. Number four, the FX3 has a cooling fan for longer recording times. The A7S III surprised all of us with the ability to support the heat generated from recording 4K for 30 minutes. But the FX3 promises to take this time even further. One of the big issues mirrorless cameras have is that when you are recording 4K or 8K, it overheats very quickly. So you only have a period of time of 30 minutes to record whatever you need to record in 4K or higher. This is one of the biggest differences between mirrorless cameras and cinema cameras but the FX3 seems to fix that problem. Number five, the FX3 has a built-in thread holes for accessories. This makes the filmmaker's life easier. And the reason is that technically the FX3 has a built-in cage and the A7S III doesn't. You had to buy a cage for the A7S III. Number six, the price. Yes, the FX3 is pricier, more expensive than the A7S III. The FX3 costs 3,900 US dollars and the A7S3 costs 3,500 dollars. So there is a $400 difference between these two cameras. So my final thoughts in this matter are, both cameras are technically the same. The differences are minimal. It all comes down to you. What is it that you're gonna use the camera for? Are you planning to use it more as a filmmaker, you know, to create short films, commercials, music video, etc., etc., something more cinematic and only video? Then the Sony FX3 is the camera that you need. But if you wanna be more versatile and use it for more things, more than video, like pictures, etc., etc., then the Sony A7S III is the camera that you wanna get. Because that way you won't be limited to just video. All right guys, so that's it for today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, which camera works for you. And do you know what to do? Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and see you guys next time. Peace.